Hello friends, my name is Parish and you're watching Tech Dynamics. In this video, we are going to discuss how he can set up journal ledger in Business Central. So stay tuned. Now the income statement and balance sheet are two important company reports and an account in the income statement and the balance sheet is called GL account. And all the GL accounts make up the chart of accounts list. To be able to edit the GL accounts, you will use GL account cards in Business Central. Now, in the chart of accounts list, all the GL accounts are available and can be viewed at one time. However, there is also the GL account card for each account, which you can also access from the chart of accounts. Now over here, I'm going to explain how you can create a GL account that will also give me an opportunity to explain what are the important fields in GL account. Now to open the chart of accounts, we can click on the finance module and then click on chart of accounts. Now this is going to open the chart of accounts list where you can see all the accounts that you have defined in the system. To create a new account, you can click on new. Let's just discuss what are some of the important fields that you might have to fill up over here. First is of course the number field, which is the unique identifier of the account. So let's just specify the number over here. In the name field, you can specify the name of the general ledger account. Now I want to use this account to post maintenance products. So I can just specify the name over here. Now in the income and balance, you can specify if the account is an income statement account or a balance sheet account. Now this is very important field because at the end of the year, when uh, the system has to close uh, the income statement, then this field comes very handy. And then there are two other fields, which are account category and account subcategory. Now account category specifies the category of the account and there are some predefined categories over here. And you have to choose among these predefined options. Both of these fields are not mandatory, but I would still recommend that you specify the category and subcategory because many of the financial reporting would actually use this and we will be discussing that in our upcoming videos. So over here, um, this is an expense account and based on the account category, you can actually define uh, account subcategories over here. So let's just choose uh, that this is a utilities expense, click OK. And then there is an, a field called debit or credit. Now this specifies the type of entries that will normally be posted to this general ledger account. So the options are both debit or credit. Uh, usually we stick with both. Now there's this field called account type, which is a very interesting field. And it has a couple of options over here, uh, which are posting, heading, total, begin total, and end total. Now you use the, this, these options to structure the chart of accounts. Uh, let me just show you how. Let's just go to the chart of accounts again. And over here, you can see that some of the accounts are specified in bold, while others are not bold and are also indented. And you can see over here that the account types are defined to structure the chart of accounts. So heading, begin total, and then end total, and then posting. Now, if the account type is of type posting, only then you can do posting to this account. Rest of the account types are used to structure the chart of accounts. So you can basically uh, provide a heading and then provide a begin or end total. Now, when you specify these account types, you can run a function called indent chart of accounts, which actually then indents all the accounts based on the account type and wherever you have begin and end total, the system also does the totaling part automatically. So the account type uh, field is very handy while you have to structure the chart of accounts. Let's just go back to our account that we were discussing. And for that, you can use the search feature and then click on the account to edit that again. So over here, I'm going to stick with account type as posting because I would like to post to this account. Uh, totaling field is not necessary over here because the totaling is only required when you have a total or an end total as your account type. Now there are some other fields which uh, we'll try to cover in specific scenarios. But the important field that you require over here is direct posting. Now, since I want to directly post to this account, this 
field is enabled over here. But for example, in situations where you have assigned the account to posting groups, uh, like for your account receivables, account payables, so on and so forth. Over there, this field direct posting is not enabled because the posting to this account then should be via the posting groups and not via direct posting. So in that case, it becomes a controlled account. Now let's have a look into the posting tab. So let's just expand the posting tab and minimize the general. Now the fields under the posting tab are important as well, especially when you have to do calculations such as GST. So um, one of the main rules that uh, I apply is that if you're using this GL account in documents such as sales invoice or purchase invoice, then specifying these fields become important because the system uses these fields, the information in these fields to calculate things like GST. The first field is general posting type. Uh, so this account is a typical purchase. So we can choose uh, this as a purchase over here. Now over here, we can specify the general business posting group and we can select uh, one of the posting groups which are defined. Let's just select domestic. Now, the general business posting group and GST business posting group can be overruled um, by the posting groups which are defined at the customer or the vendor level. So you can actually choose not to specify uh, these fields, but um, in case when you are using this account, let's say in uh, while posting a journal and not in a document, then these uh, fields become important. Then you have the general product posting group which you can select again over here. Let's just select miscellaneous and general product posting group is important. So this you anyways have to specify. And the GST product posting group is uh, specified automatically over here uh, based on the general product posting group that I select, which is GST 10. So these are some of the fields which are important that you need to specify. There are other fields as well but we will try to discuss those fields when there is an appropriate scenario based on that. Uh, similarly, there are various fields available in consolidation, reporting and cost accounting. But right now, as far as the GL account creation is concerned, they, these are the only fields that you require to create a GL account. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked the video, please give it a big thumbs up, share your comments and do not forget to subscribe. Enjoy.